Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, we're gonna take a simple pop-up animation and enhance it by adding a few simple things here and there to really make it stand out. Along the way, we're gonna see some cool little tricks, so let's begin. So here in Illustrator, I have already made the artwork. As you can see, I have also separated them into their own layers, so it's easy to manage. Other than the tree parts, I have also made this leaf, which is gonna come into play later in After Effects. So let's go to After Effects and get started with the animation. In After Effects, I imported the tree file as a composition. I went inside the comp and started lining up each of the layer's anchor point to their base. After this, I selected the branch layers and the main green layer and parent it to the base layer. Once everything was set up, I started animating the base layer scale to get a nice pop-up animation. Once I was happy with the keyframes, I went into the speed graph and adjusted it so it starts real slow and then we get a big pop and settles down at the end. After this, I copy pasted the same scale animation keyframes to the branch layers and then adjusted their distance so they scale up a bit faster. And then I offsetted both of the layers in the timeline to get a layered animation. And this is what our final base animation looks like. Now let's add some extra spice to make it really pop. We're gonna add an extra layer of animation over the scale animation. And this is gonna create that cascading look which look more dynamic than a simple pop-up. So in After Effects, I selected the green layer and went to Effect distort bulge i started playing with the horizontal and the vertical radius of the bulge i also modified the bulge's taper radius to get a nice rounded look after this i animated the bulge center to line up with the scale animation i turned them into easy ease keyframes and started playing with the distance till i was happy with it and this is what we got The next thing we're gonna add is couple of accent lines which gonna help the eyes to follow that animation. So I created a new shape layer, renamed it line underscore one and started drawing a simple line with the pen tool. After this I added a trim paths and animated its start and end value. I easy the keyframes and went into the graph editor to really push the values of the path animation. Once I was happy with it, I went to effect, distort, mirror. Adjusted the mirror center and changed the reflection angle to negative 180 degrees to add and copy to the other side. After this, I duplicated this layer and moved its path position and moved the layer forward into the timeline. So it starts a bit later. And this is what we got. For the final touches, we're gonna add some extra elements to the animation to really make it stand out. Remember that leaf in the beginning? Now let's animate that. The first thing I did was change its anchor point to the bottom. Then I started animating its position and scale. I basically adjusted the motion path handles to get a nice arcing motion. Once I was happy with it, I duplicated it and changed the second slayer's last position keyframe so it falls to the other side. I also shifted their keyframes and the layer in the timeline. I put both of the layers behind the green layer so it looked like the tree is blowing those leaves as it's popping up. For the final touches, took an adjustment layer, added some noise and finalized it with some posterized time set to 12. As you can see by adding these kind of small additions, you can really make your animation stand out from the crowd. And these things can be transferred to any other types of animation as you can see on the screen right now. So get this project file and if you can donate something that will be really amazing. If you like this tutorial, leave a like, comment, share this video and do subscribe for more motion graphics content like this. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye guys.